What's good with YouTube? It is your boy Vaughn, and as you guys can see by the title, baby, we are back with a new SML reaction video for you guys today. This is also an SML video that I have not reacted to from the past, and this one is called SML Movie Brooklyn Guys Big Fight. I seen the I seen the thumbnail. Brooklyn guy looking like he just got his ass beat by Sean O'Malley from the UFC. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but that's what the guy looks like in the thumbnail, or he looks like uh um muhammad ali's grandson i forget i forget his name but he's a boxer as well hey we finna check this one out as always the original video will be in the description down below while you guys are down there if you like to follow me on my other channel or any of my social medias i would greatly appreciate that make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel with notifications turned on that way you do not miss any of the uploads man and without further ado let's dive into brooklyn guy catching this fade Oh no, Jeffy's putting tape on the couch again. <laughs> oh no, Jeffy, stop it. I've played with tape before. Okay. Jeffy, stop putting I, tape on the couch. Stop it. Here, Jeffy, go get it. Go get it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffy, this is disrespectful. <laughs> Make him go in the room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Make him. <laughs> this nigga hissing and everything, but back to the tape real quick, guys. I remember one time, man. I, me and my friends, we we were doing like a challenge to see if we could duct tape our friend to a wall. And he was the smallest one out of everybody. My friend Luke was probably about like four, like he was like five, four maybe, okay? And we decided to duct tape this man to the wall. And after we duct taped him to the wall, he was stuck up there. <laughs> we started giving him, <laughs> we started giving him the, uh, the low tap. Like we was, <laughs> we, <laughs> I gotta find the video, bro. We had this man taped to the wall, was hitting him in his nuts, bro. <laughs> we was young as hell, bro. That shit was clown. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, there's someone at the door. Baby, keep Imagine going. being taped to the wall and you can't do nothing. Like, that's tough. Hello? Hey, Marvin. Can I come inside? I just need someone to talk to. Yeah, sure, buddy. Thank so, you. Brooklyn got. Hey, dang, look what I did to the couch. I made you all pretty pretty. <laughs> Baby, you're supposed to distract them with the laser pointer. The laser pointer died, Marvin. <laughs> And I ran out of tape. Can you go in the store and buy me some more? Too, Get out of here, Jeffy. One bang. Oh, there's there tape go. all over the couch. Baby, you're supposed to hide the tape. I did, Marvin, but he found it. He always finds it. Why is there tape all over your couch? My son likes to put tape on the couch. Listen, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> well, I was on my way to my 27-year high school reunion, but then I found out that my high school bully's going to be there, so now I don't want to go. Why do you have a 27-year <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Right, but also, how the hell do you still have a bully? Twenty, like you're 27 now, bro. There ain't no more bullying. Like that's not that's uh, well, not how this is the supposed 25th to work. Year people start dying, so they just do it every year. It's pretty sad. Oh well, you said your high school bully's gonna be there. Yeah, Candy Randy. Candy Randy. Yeah, let me tell you the story. So back in high school, <laughs> there was this kid named Randy that everybody called Candy Randy because he would sell candy to everybody in the school. Now, for some reason, Randy didn't like me. I can't imagine why. But usually, he would only charge a dollar for his candy. But then one day, a couple hours before lunch, I was hungry and I had a dollar burning a hole in my pocket. So I went up to Randy and I was like, hey Randy, let me get some Skittles. And he said, for you, that'll be two dollars. And I said, Randy, that's bullshit because usually you only charge one dollar and I only have one dollar. But he still <laughs> wouldn't sell me the Skittles. So I did what any man would do and I picked my nose and I wiped a booger on him. And Randy didn't oh, like that. Oh, shit. Off and he <laughs> no wonder you got your ass beat, Brooklyn guy. If anybody did that to me in school, they get their ass beat as well. We don't, we don't, we don't like germs like that. Stood up and said, no okay, go. meet me after school by the flagpole, and me and you are going to fight. And then all the students and all the teachers went, ooh. Okay, so a lot of these students right now in the animation look like they got chicken pox and shit. If y'all know what chicken pox is, let me know. It's a shot that we had to take as a kid, but like... They, like, there's a lot of germs all over these people that I'm looking at. At that these point. So crazy. then I spent the whole rest of my day trying to figure out how I could fake my <laughs> own death puberty. so I didn't I have to fight Randy. I even tried to call my mom and see if she would check me out of school, but she wouldn't do it. So then, after school, I went up to the flag. And why does Brooklyn guy look of... 40? Why did... He looks 40, and, and a lot of the other kids look 40 in high school, bro. People <laughs> gathered around. And they were all chanting, Randy, Randy. And I was like, that's not fair. I can fight Randy. I got this. All he ever does is eat candy. I can take him. So then I <laughs> started throwing haymakers and randy just kept dodging them and then randy started beating the shit out of me i mean he, he was good and then the worst part is his hands were still sticky from eating all that candy and then after he got done beating me up what? he took my underwear and tied it to the flag what was and then guy just my underwear up like a oh my god he got the streaks in the underwear bro disrespectful he beat the shit out of him literally flag and then my underwear had a skid mark in it so that was horrible and then everybody started saying the pledge of allegiance to my 
underwear. I've never been so embarrassed in all my life. So that's the story of Candy Randy. Well, that's dumb. There's no way all your classmates are going to remember that 27 years later. Uh, oh, believe me, they're going to remember Nobody's forgetting that. You got your tiny whities my pants. Right, right that part. That nobody's forgetting that, bro. You're trying to wipe your ass with toilet paper at a school? It's like trying to wipe your ass with Taco Bell napkins. They're all rough and they're thin. I'd rather not even wipe, which is why I didn't. But my ass was itching a lot. Oh, no, hell no. I hell still hell think hell you should go to your high school reunion. I don't use public bathrooms, by the way. I spent $150 to rent but I'm not I don't want it to go to waste. Either. So I was just wondering if you guys wanted to go to like Red Lobster. Maybe if we're feeling classy, we could try going to Applebee's. I mean, I really want to go to Outback, but there's no way I can. How do you go from Red this. Lobster and then say if you're really feeling classy, go to Applebee's? Red Lobster is more classy than Applebee's, and I've never even had Red Lobster, but I don't eat seafood. So. It's late. No, nah, not with their blooming onions. Did you say <laughs> candy, Randy? Yeah, do you know him? Yeah, there was a guy at the gas station named Randy who sold candy. Wait, what do you look like? Did he look like an asshole? <laughs> no, he had cornrows and tattoos. Yep, that's him. That's that asshole. What, you know him? Yeah, he sold me candy for a dollar. <laughs> a dollar for you? Why did it have to be two dollars <laughs> for me, Randy? Why? Well, listen, you got to get over We're talking about guys. So I 100 pennies difference. Go to him with a dollar and try to buy some candy. Maybe he'll like you now and you can get over all this stuff. Yeah. Marvin just wants right. uh, Brooklyn I mean, guy to get to the ass beat. Years. Maybe he's cool <laughs> now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go. And I'll come back and tell you guys how it went. And <laughs> also, when did... Oh, shit. Hell no. What happened? That was quick as hell. Ryan and Randy was selling candy for a dollar, so I tried to give he him a dollar. He his eyeball out of his face. face. And he took my dollar, and then he pulled my underwear out, and there were still skid marks on it, and then he started waving my underwear around, and everybody started laughing and calling me skid mark guy and poop clean guy, and that's not <laughs> Poop clean guy. Yeah, Randy does have Poop clean guy is crazy. How many times you see this Randy guy? Well, we dated like 10 years ago. You dated a candy company. Oh, shit. <laughs> Randy ran through rows. Oh, no. He was nice. He gave me candy. Oh, my God. Is he She's hot? a thigh. <laughs> Why would you date a guy who sells candy at a gas station? I want to see him. Call him over. Sure? Oh, yeah, I want to see him right now. We're going to beat Barbara want to get his ass yeah, beat. Let me get my yearbook. <sighs> okay, here's my yearbook. Oh, your wife signed it? Oh, no. She signed that after we were already married because she thought it'd be cute. She didn't even go to the same school as me. Wait, who's Bake Ziti Feedy Peedy? Okay, look, I don't have time to explain all the names in the book, okay, but I'll explain that one. See, I went to high school with this guy named Peedy. He got Randy's signature and he said, P.S. I hate you. brought Bake Ziti to lunch and ate it, but then he went on a ski trip and he got frostbite on both his feet, so he had to heat him up by putting his feet in pans of Bake Ziti and walking around, so he started calling him Bake Ziti Feedy Peedy. All the names of your books. <laughs> How dumb? Freaks. How fucking dumb, bro? So look, there's Candy <laughs> Randy's number. I still can't believe you dated a guy who sold candy at a gas station. It was forever ago, Marvin. Well, look, call him over here because I want to have a word with him. Okay, let me go get my phone. Okay, I called him and there he is. Oh, hey, what's going on, Dookie <laughs> Pants? Don't call me that in front of my friends. Dookie Pants! Yeah, I got no friends. Yes, I do. I have two and they're right here. Oh, shit, is that Rosebud? Hey, Randy. <laughs> hey. You trying to get another taste of this pizza stick? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, Marvin. Yo, girl, top dog, Randy. Yo. No, Randy, I'm married now. Oh, well, that's a shame, because you just want a golden ticket to the white chocolate factory. You trying to see my Willy Wonka? Randy, meet my husband, Marvin. Ex-husband. Marvin. So you want to market? Because I'm trying to see where these little piggies are going. Hopefully, they're going to be wee 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 and all the way back to my place. <laughs> No, Randy, I'm married. <laughs> well, he's the one lucky. Ain't no way that you know I mean? ain't no way a nigga that look like this, but with that voice, is pulling anything, bro. There's just no way. So Rose, like <laughs> when you used to li -li 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 lick me like a lollipop, you know, like that little. Alright, he song. doing too much, Marvin. You know song, oh man? I've heard it. What did you see, <laughs> Marvin? Well, traumatized. What she didn't see a 401k or a high credit score. But what she did see was 7.3 inches below the waist on a good day. And every day was a good day. Okay, you know what? I think we should just talk about why we invited you over here. Oh, my bad. I was just reminiscing how I used to make her my Cadbury cream egg. You know what a Cadbury cream egg is? Yeah, I know what it is. I listen. I want this. So Brooke and he I disrespected want to Marvin. you over here because he wants to fight you. Well, I didn't say that. Oh, so he's trying to get his ass beat. Well, no, no, he wants a professional fight in a boxing ring tonight. But no, no, Randy, I didn't say that. Okay, well, you're wrong. Well, you better stop training. I'll see you tonight. What, Marvin, why would you do that? Because you need to fight him. You need to get revenge. Listen, you need a professional fight. <laughs> Marvin, why does you fight him? He, he, he was going crazy on your wife. <laughs> well, look, we're going to do a training montage. <laughs> we're going to fix your eye up.
I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Let me ask y'all this right now, because this is this is every, this this happens in everyday life with people that get with somebody. If 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 you ended up knowing your your person's past, your girl's past, guys, and 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 she was and if you found out she was going crazy on another nigga, would you would you how like if you found that out while being with this person, would you be upset about it? Would would that affect things for you? Would you you would you leave that person just because you found that out? Or would you like, oh, it was in my past. It is whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> That's tough, bro. It's very tough. And you're going to be ready to fight him, okay? Hey, come on. <laughs> so is Marvin training in Brooklyn? <laughs> yeah, I got no hand. No, no motion in the hand. He just, he just literally. Uh... <laughs> oh, Marvin, I am so ready. I am ready to cheat. What, cheat? Oh, yeah, there's no way I'm going to fight Randy fairly. He'd kick my ass. I don't think hitting punching bags for 20 seconds is going to help me fight. Well, <laughs> put put bricks in your gloves. Poison him with tetrodotoxin. What is that? It is a very rare poison found in the puffer fish that will make him completely paralyzed, except he can feel everything. So when he's on the ground, not able to move, I'm going to be wailing on him. Like, oh, fight back, bitch. You can't. Okay, so how are you going to get the poison in him? <laughs> well, that's why I have these glasses. See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to challenge Randy to a friendly water drinking competition. See, Randy is very competitive, so there's no way he's going to say no. So I'm just going to fill up these two glasses here, and then I'm going to take <laughs> my poison and put it in Randy's glass. <laughs> he's never going to know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go call Randy. Okay, I'm going to keep stirring this so that it dissolves. <laughs> Okay, I called him and there he is. Hey, 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 what's going on, Dookie Pants? I don't even care that you called me Dookie Pants. Okay, so what are we doing? Well, I thought before our fight we should hydrate. So I challenge you to a competition to see who can take the fastest sip of water. Okay, Did they even switch the... I don't think they switched the glasses. It's over for Brooklyn. He about to stand there and get his ass beat. Oh, my God. Goofy your body. Okay, one, two, three, go. <laughs> oh, man, Randy, it looks like you won. Yeah, because you too slow. You better be fast in the fight. <laughs> Marvin, he's so stupid. He drank the poison. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Marvin, Marvin, I did you drink the poison? Marvin, did you switch the cops? You never told me to switch the cops. You didn't switch the cops. You never told me to switch the cops. <laughs> God damn it! I thought you said you were gonna switch the cops. I had a cops. feeling, bro. I had, I had a I, feeling. I guess it would make sense that we should switch the cops, but you had the cup of poison in front of you. But I thought you switched the cops. No, I didn't have time. He came over so fast. God damn it! I can't move. I can't fight now. Well, you still have to fight. We can't back out. I have to back out. I can't move. No, no. What if you still Imagine fight? being I'm in that bitch. Brooklyn guy already gonna get his ass beat regardless this right because he can't fight so imagine imagine you're already not going being able to win the fight plus you're paralyzed so you just want to sit there and get your ass beat even more <laughs> there's just, just no your way bro. That's stupid no it's, it's absolutely we, we not something, okay so let, let, let's just go to the fight okay but you have to drag me oh, oh yeah i'm sorry i can't move remember uh -huh. <laughs> all right buddy are you ready for your big fight no <laughs> i can't move but we have a plan i'm gonna send your punches for you they're gonna see you maybe they won't we went over this come on let's go i want to forfeit all right, I want a nice and clean fight. We're going three rounds, just like I do with my wife every night. <laughs> <laughs> you better have my dinner ready, woman. I can oh, wait. shit. All right, you ready? That nigga crazy. Okay. Go. <laughs> I'm about to beat your butt like I did in high school. I'm going to swing for you. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you can't swing for him. Well, I'm his trainer. Uh-oh, -uh, go ahead, train your ass in the corner, sir. No, rep, rep, rep. it's okay. He can stay in. I'll be his ass, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. He's out. I'll beat his ass, too. Oh, thank God. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Oh! <laughs> he beat well, both of them. <laughs> time out, time out, time out. Rip, there ain't no time out in boxing. I know, but they ass needed. Oh, come on. Let's go think of a plan. Okay. <laughs> All right, we have to think of a plan. Yeah, no shit. Marvin, I think we should just tell them that I tried to cheat and then reschedule for a time when I can actually use my body. What, you want to tell your high school bully you tried to cheat when fighting him? No, but I also don't want him to beat the ever-loving shit out of me again. No, look, He's going to do that regardless. If you tell him you tried to cheat. Okay, what if you get on top of my head and you control me like Ratatouille, like you pull my hair? Does that really work? I hey, that yo! Movie. Yeah, you're right. I just have a kink for having my hair pulled. Ooh, I got an idea. What if okay. I let him hit you in the face, <laughs> and then while he's hitting you in the face, I start hitting him? Okay, and then we take 
turns? No, 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 no. He just keeps hitting you in the face because he's not going to see it coming. Because while he's beating you up, I'll come up from behind him and start hitting him in the head. Okay, you know what? Fine, let's try it. All right, we're going to win. What's this? All right, Except to get your ass beat is crazy. Your ass lost the first round. That's fair. Look, try to put your hands up. Oh, believe me, I wish I could. Listen, man, I feel bad for you. So I'm going to do you a solid. I'm only going to follow you with my left hand. See? See? That's generous. Only the left hand in his 2v1? He's handing it to you on the silver platter. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's no way I could lose. Look, look. Are y'all ready? Round two. Go! I call this one my gut punch. Oh, my God. Ow, ow, Marvin, help me out. Marvin beat his ass. <laughs> Marvin weak as hell. He weaker than Brooklyn guy. Oh, shit. Do you forfeit? Yes. Winner! Damn. I beat your ass in high school and I beat your ass as an adult. Damn, I had to and he spit, spit on that too, so that works. <laughs> and he oh spit God, on that nigga. That's disrespectful, you bro. You forfeit. We could have won. <laughs> no, we couldn't. Oh, let's go. <laughs> so he's taking on, niggas home. Well, today was very he embarrassing. Beat niggas well, ass. He would have had a chance he's to win again. He getting the bag. Well, it worked if you switch the Damn, cups. You never told bro. me to switch the cups. I thought it went without saying. You should have told me to switch the cups. Marvin, I hate when we argue. Yeah, me too. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry too. Well, there's one thing we have in common. We both hate Candy Randy. Oh yeah, fucking hate that guy. Yeah, he's the worst. You want to help me take tape off the couch? Sure, just roll me over. I'll do it with my mouth. That's what she said. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, hey, so. yo. <laughs> you help? Uh, yeah, you got to roll me over there. Oh. Yeah. yeah. He, he's okay. paralyzed. <laughs> hey, when he puts all this tape. God, I wish I had teeth. <laughs> I ain't going to lie, bro. bro. Marvin. Oh, shit. My hair be getting stuck in my head. Oh, my gosh, guys. My hair. All right, we're good. We're good. Marvin guy and Brooklyn are both simps, bro. Soft as hell. Like, there's just no way you're going to let a guy named Randy Candy, Candy Randy, beat your ass like that. <laughs> For him to drink uh, puffer fish poison, I think that would kill you in real life, to be honest. But, hey, the original video will always be in the description. Down below why you guys are down there. If you like to follow me on my other channel or any of my social medias, I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you guys for the continued support, man. I appreciate it so much. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one, baby. We are out. Peace.